Hi, in this topic, I will just talk about post anesthesia scoring system. Now, when we take out our patient out of OT, we shift the patient to post anesthesia care unit. And from, we call it, we shift the patient to post anesthesia care unit, right? Paku. And when we have to shift the patient from Paku to level 2 care, right? There should be some discharge criteria which the patient has to fulfill. And if we have to discharge the patient from level 2 care, send the patient home, again the patient has to fulfill some criteria. Now, when we give patient anesthesia or patient has undergone surgery, there are effects on circulation and hemodynamics and a lot of physiological things, changes have happened in the body. So, patient requires monitoring for some time to monitor the circulation, ventilation, etc. of the patient. Right? So, to shift from PAKU where the monitoring is more to level 2 where the monitoring is high, there is a scoring system that's called modified Algerit score. We call it modified Alderet score, right? Now, this modified Alderet score was, this came in 1970, the Alderet score came in 1970, which was modified later on. I'll talk about this modified Alderet score. And from level 2 care, when we discharge the patient, discharge, for that we have something called modified pad score modified pad score post anesthesia discharge scoring system pads score right post anesthesia discharge scoring system so we will discuss about pad scores as well this is more commonly used for ambulatory surgery where we have to discharge the patient on the same day okay so let us talk about Modified Alderet score. What are the things we have to know about for modified Alderet score? The first thing which we need to know is the name. What is the name? It's modified Alderet score that is post anesthesia discharge when we discharge the patient from PAKU to level 2. The first thing you have to be familiar with name. The second thing which you have to fam be familiar for solving questions, what are the parameters or criteria of modified Alderet score? Well, it has five criteria. We see the oxygenation of the patient, we see the respiration, circulation and we see the consciousness and activity of the patient. First oxygenation. In oxygenation, we see the SpO2 value of the patient. If patient has SpO2 more than 92%, right, on room air, we give the score 0.2. If it is more than 90% on oxygen, right? Then we could give the score 1 and if it is less than 90% on oxygen, then 0. For respiration, we see the breathing. Patient can breathe, cough, protect his airway. It is 2. Patient is dyspneic, 1. Patient is apneic, 0. Circulation. If the mean arterial blood pressure is within plus minus 20 of the normal to between plus minus 20 to 50 mm of Hg within normal 1 and the fluctuation is more than plus minus 50 then 0 and for consciousness fully wake to arousable when we call him then he opens his eyes 1 and unresponsive 0 activity all four limbs moved 2 only two limbs moved 1 no limb moved 0. So, every parameter has 0, 1, 2. So, the maximum score, maximum score is 10 and patient have to have more than 9, more than, I mean, it should, patient should have the score of more than equal to 9 for discharge to level 2. Right? So, it has to be more than equal to 9. Then only the patient can be shifted to level 2 care. So, this is our modified adult score. So, what are the important things? First, the name, what discharge scoring system it is and what are the parameters, what is the maximum score and what is the score on which patient can be shifted from 
Paku, that is post anesthesia care unit to level 2 care. Okay. Then comes our next scoring system that is modified, modified post anesthesia, post anesthesia discharge scoring, modified post anesthesia discharge scoring system, pads, pads, got it? Now, this PADS, it also has five criteria: vital signs. Now, vital signs, all the vital signs should be within the less than 20% of the pre-op change. Difference should be less than 20% of the pre-op value. Two, 20 to 40% of the pre-op value. One, more than 40% of the pre-op value, then zero. Ambulation, whether the patient can move or not. What? So, ambulation, patient can move and he has a steady gait. Two, patient can move with assistance. One, and no ambulance. Patient on standing becomes dizzy. Zero. Then, nausea and vomiting. Minimal, two. Then, moderate, one. And severe nausea, vomiting, zero. Pain, minimal, moderate, severe. Two, one, zero. And surgical bleeding. Minimal, moderate, severe, 2, 1, 0. Got it? So, again, in this, we have five criteria, vital signs, ambulation, nausea, vomiting, pain, and surgical bleeding. So, maximum score again is 10. Maximum score is 10. And again, here also, patient can be discharged to home only if it is more than 9. So, more than 9, discharge possible. Discharge can be done. Now, important, what is the criteria in this also? For more than 9, the modified pads say that vital sign should be 2, at least should be 2 and rest of the 4 factors parameter should be at least, should be at least 1. So, modified pads say that in more than equal to 9, right, vital sign should be 2 always 2 and rest rest should be rest parameter should be at least 1 then only if any of the rest parameter is not 1 patient cannot be discharged even if the score is more than equal to 9 if vital sign is not 2 rest of the parameter let's say ambulation 2 4 5 6 7 8 and vital sign is 1 patient cannot be discharged Got it? So, vital sign has to be 2 and rest of the parameter should be 1. In this total score of more than equal to 9, then only patient can be discharged home. So, this is modified PADS, that is post anesthesia discharge scoring system, right? We used in ambulatory surgery to discharge a patient from hospital to home. So, these are the two important discharge scoring system which I wanted you to be familiar with. Thank you. <music>